Cinders and ashes, Thomas cried. Salty was at the bottom of the hill. He was waiting for a signal. He didn't know Thomas was coming down the hill. Thomas was out of control. Thomas braked as hard as he could. But the freight cars of fish were too heavy. Oops, said Thomas. Sorry. Salty was covered in fish. I want to get out. I want to get out, he sighed. One moment, everything seemed safe. But then, suddenly... Falcon was derailed and hung dangerously over the edge. Duke bravely held on with all his strength. Diesel, thinking he could get away with his bad behavior, was ruder than ever. Next day, he was shunting freight cars full of china clay. He banged the cars hard into the buffers, but the buffers weren't secure. The silly cars were sunk. He didn't dare look at what was coming next. There was the station master's house. The station master was about to have breakfast. Horrors, cried Thomas, and shut his eyes. The house rocked, broken glass tinkled, plaster was everywhere. Thomas had collected a bush on his travels. He peered into the room through its leaves. He couldn't speak. He veered into a siding where a barber had set up shop. He was shaving a customer. The silly cars had knocked their conductor off his van and left him far behind after he had whistled the warning. But the cars didn't care. They were feeling very pleased with themselves. Frantically trying to grip the rails, Percy slid into the yard. Beep! Beep! Look out! The brake van was in smithereens. Percy's driver and fireman had jumped clear, but Percy was stranded. Percy charged down Gordon's Hill. He didn't see Gordon and the Express until it was too late. The brake van passed Gordon, but the tar wagons didn't. Luckily, no one was hurt, but Gordon was very cross. Now look what you've done, he wished. What will Sir Topham Hatt say? Percy thought he knew. Oh no, he cried. I'm sure to be scrapped now. Gordon slid right through the station and into a siding. Everyone watched as he puffed into a big pile of snow. Yuck! Coughed Gordon. Luckily, no one was hurt. Until one day, Donald had an accident. The rails were slippery. He couldn't stop in time. Donald wasn't hurt, but Sir Topham Hatt was most annoyed. I am disappointed, Donald. I didn't expect such mm, clumsiness from you. So Thomas went faster and faster. The carriages rattled and shook. Soon be over, soon be over, Thomas said to himself. And it soon was.
Luckily, no one was hurt. But Thomas felt sadder than ever. Snow can't stop me. He rushed into a tunnel thinking how clever he was, but there was trouble ahead. Cinders and ashes, said Thomas. I'm stuck. And he was. Three, two, one. Oh, dang it. <laughs> Oh, <laughs> dang it.